try this at home, kids. My theory and philosophy is that if there's ever a chance to use a big knife, you should take it, because that's where the fun comes in. Getting your hand a little dirty. Well, my advice to you is to take off your rings first, because I didn't do that, still holding a knife. And well, now my rings are covered in egg meat, and that's kind of gross. So, take your rings off. It'll help. I grew up loving me some Rachel Ray, and she taught me to have a bowl of all your trash. That way, you can dispose of it all at one time. But thank you, Rachel Ray. This is actually really helpful. So, after you have done all the steps listed below in the section, it tells you to combine all of the first seven ingredients and then the meat. This is what you're going to get. Some delicious meatloaf, uncooked. It's kind of heavy and a little gross. It makes this weird noise. Yeah. Squishy. But I'm excited. The next step is to put this in the oven and then follow the rest of the directions. So, next step. To follow the directions. Here you go. All right, I made the sauce, combined the meat in the first seven ingredients as it says on the directions. And now we have the sauce inside the meat loaf container. Makes this weird squishy sound, but I think it's time since the oven has been preheated to 350. Don't forget the preheating. It's a rookie mistake that I always do, but the next step is just to put it in and wait. It cooks for, let's see, 60 to 65 minutes. So I will see you guys in an hour. If you have a dog, sometimes you know they can be a little clingy. In this case, my dog loves to sleep at my feet while I'm cooking. It does me no good, but she's very cute, so I let her. I will show you. See? Yay! She just lays there the whole time. But I love her. Alright guys, so it's been an hour and 30 minutes and my meatloaf is finally cooked. A little longer than suggested. I think what part of the problem was is that three-fourths of a cup of milk is kind of a lot of milk and meat already has a lot of juices that come out of it which makes it really soggy already which makes things take forever to bake so i think next time i would probably cut down on the milk there's still plenty of egg there's still plenty of juices that'll mix in the breadcrumbs which is all that matters the milk is just another congealing element so that's my suggestion i'm about to it's been cooling for 10 minutes so it's been a little bit longer, but I'm about to take it out of the pan and we will, we'll see how it tastes. Okay, not done yet. I will show you. It's definitely not done yet. Right. So it's pink. It's not supposed to still be pink. So we are going to keep trying and we're just going to keep cooking it till it's done. That's all I can do. That's my only suggestion. So here we go. Back in the oven. Who knows? Dun, da, da, da. Guys, it's a meatloaf. <laughs> Look how delicious it looks. <gasps> Yay, meatloaf. <gasps> of course, it's hello. Meatloaf. <laughs> she loves it, I'm sure. But yeah, so it took a lot longer than I thought. I made a couple mistakes, which I will tell you guys all about below in all of my blogging. But do know that not only did it come out amazing, a little medium on the bottom, which is perfect, but I think it's going to taste delicious. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I certainly did. It's a little bit of a frustrating process, but that's why we're here. I make the mistakes so you guys don't have to. All right. Enjoy.